Hey guys, uh, here's the haul, the thrift store haul. Uh, my mom works at a thrift store, and sometimes they just give out stuff that they couldn't get to work. So here, here's an iPad. It will turn on, but it's uh, locked, so we're gonna have to figure that out. It's from 2018, so it's not insanely old, but it's not new. And it's funny because my mom wanted an iPad for lyrics because she is in a band as of recent. Ignore this Toshiba. But this is the computer I just got. It is a Windows XP uh, Compact Evo N115. Oh, I think I forgot to mention this is a 6th generation iPad. This is Windows XP as I mentioned. It's got some JBL speakers. Uh, it does work but it's missing a hard drive. So, or at least it seems to work. It goes to no OS. So I'm actually, I actually ordered a hard drive for, ended up being about like $19. It's pretty good for a hard drive. I believe this computer's from 2002, which is a year after Windows XP came out. So it's pretty, pretty, uh, doesn't want to stay closed. It's Windows XP Professional. Oof, here's where the hard drive is missing. It's also missing, uh, cover that up. Also missing the, the door there. It's missing that door, obviously. Covering that up because that is my library card <laughs> that I accidentally got stuck into this. Uh, it would you could put like your ID or whatever in there for. I'm, this is because it's probably a work computer, considering it has Windows XP Professional and not Windows XP Home or Family, whatever it's called. I think it has upgraded RAM because it's two different brands of RAM. All right, here's the. Sorry, I'm going really out of order, but here's the. Uh, the peripherals got a floppy drive which is awesome I've never owned a computer with a floppy drive before I have two USB floppy drives but not I've never had one that actually had a floppy drive in it uh, this expansion port um, PC card whatever slot the bottom one's different than the top one and the bottom one had this in it TrendNet PCM CIA Ethernet card it's got a DVD drive, mic, headphone, nothing over here. And it's got a little flat down thing here. It takes 19 volts, I think, as power. It has ethernet and phone line. You got VGA out for another monitor. Serial, two PS2. I think there's two USB over there or over there. I can't, that's over there. I can't actually see it in real life. And then something's over here, I don't remember. So I hope I can get this to work functional. Why can't I speak? I hope I can get this to work correctly. It doesn't want to stay closed. Uh, anyways, on to the other things. Game Boy Color. Um, it actually works. The game that came with does not work. It works with my other games, so it does work. Although it wasn't, it, it worked, but not great, so I had to take it apart because like the buttons were sticking and stuff, so I was kind of some uh, rubbing alcohol. Now it works pretty well. It doesn't look great. It's not the camera's fault that it looks kind of this weird color. It's meant to be teal. This is the game that came with it. That does not work. I would take it apart and clean it, but I, I don't have the little socket. But the game is uh, Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers. I think it's the only Game Boy Color I have. I mean, only Game Boy Color game I have. And this is the main attraction. Where did I put it? Here it is. Now, this case I did not get recently. I've had it for years, and it just so happens that it's the exact case for this. A pretty good condition uh, Game Boy Advance SP. The battery was swollen, so I'm going to have to buy a new one of those. I already ordered it. It was like $8 or something, $10. But it is alright condition. It's not, it's not great. But the inside actually pretty good. Unfortunately, it's an uh, AGS001 and not a 101. Uh, a 101 has like a way better backlight, and it's worth a lot more. And it's like just way more usable. If I'm feeling daring in the future, uh, I might IPS mod it or whatever. As you can see, it is decently worn. Well, as you can't see, it's pretty worn, but it's not like the worst thing ever. I don't remember if I said the price. I will say the price for dramatic effect at the end, which I'm basically at the end now. This is the last thing. Well, there is another thing. It is a... I don't actually have it in here. It's a DVR box thing that has 40 gigabytes of storage. Uh, if you don't know, DVR stands for something. And it, what it does is uh, records TV. That's it. 
if you just set it to record, hey, can you record Seinfeld at this time for me, please? And then it will do it, and then you can watch it later. So I might already have recordings from, like, the early 2000s on it, which is kind of cool. All of this stuff, including the DVR and the iPad and everything, except the Toshiba, it was $10. Actually, that's not true. $15, I think. I wasn't actually there, so I'm not sure exactly how much. Both of these were 5 each. I don't know how much this was, and this was thrown out because it didn't have a hard drive. So, pretty good. Okay.